Crews in America are working around the clock to finish what will eventually be a new hospital. Sumter Regional East will serve as the community's hospital until a permanent building can go up. As you know, the original hospital was destroyed in the March 1st tornado. Since then, Sumter Regional's Marcus Johnson says asbestos has slowed things down. The oldest part of the building was built in 1953, where asbestos uh, rules and regulations were quite different than they are now. So, you know, you have to go back to make sure everything is okay before they wreck the entire building. Architects recently submitted plans for a new hospital. They are under review. The new Sumter Regional is expected to open in 2010. Well, it's been close to seven months since a tornado hit Sumter Regional Hospital in Americus, and crews have been working since to rebuild. Now the hospital hopes to win a new MRI machine. Simmons Medical Solutions is giving away a new MRI to a deserving hospital. Hospitals can enter by submitting a video explaining why they should win. Sumter Regional Hospital thinks after all they've gone through, they definitely deserve to win it. We feel like we are the hospital that they're, um, this uh, contest is poor because, as you know, the March 1st tornado really destroyed all of our equipment, including our MRI machine. So we are very excited and, and hopefully that we can win it. The hospital with the most votes by December 31st will win the MRI. If you want to vote in the contest, log on to our website at WRBL.com. You can vote more than once. Tonight, you can help an area hospital win a piece of life-saving equipment. When Sumter Regional Hospital in America was destroyed by a tornado March 1st, the facility lost everything. Well, now the hospital has a chance to win an important diagnostic tool, and you can help. News Center 9's Layla Chapman is here to tell us how. As Sumter Regional Hospital continues the slow process of rebuilding, a glimmer of hope has appeared. One medical company is hosting a contest to give away a free state-of-the-art MRI machine at a value of $800,000. We know this is not something they dreamed up just because we were unfortunate enough to have a tornado strike our community in our hospital, but certainly it's a good fit for our needs. The contest requires each hospital to make a video explaining why it needs the MRI. That video is then posted on a website so that visitors can vote once each day for the best story. Sumter Regional was able to use surveillance video from the night the tornado hit. And our team came up with a really good script that really tugs at the heart a little bit. So we felt our chances were pretty good going into it. But. Support our recovery by casting your vote. Since then, a grassroots campaign has taken off. Somebody came up with a pretty good strategy of sending emails to everybody in your address book. You know, those kind of things that you get. Pass this to everybody you know. It seems to be working. Sumter Regional is currently in first place out of about 40 other hospitals. CEO David Seagrave says it's important that everyone cast a vote for this machine because you never know when you may need it. Get online and vote for Sumter Regional Hospital's video. Help us win that MRI. Now, we've made it easy for you to vote. We've placed a link to the contest on our website, WTVM.com. All you have to do is click on News Links. And don't forget, you're allowed to vote once a day until the contest ends in December. Thank you, Kelly. Well, we have an update on an MRI contest Sumter County Hospital is taking part in. It's part of our News 3 follow-up file. The hospital hopes to win the MRI machine from Siemens Medical Solutions. As of this morning, Sumter was in the number one spot with 147,000 votes. But Lockport, New York is coming in a close second. This has public figures stepping up to the plate. We spoke with Miss Rosalind Carter, who is doing her part to help with the hospital win the MRI machine. In an email, she sent friends and colleagues. She writes, as you may know, on March 1st, a tornado ripped through Americus, Georgia, which is just down the road from Plains where Jimmy and I live. The hospital that serves our area, Sumter Regional Hospital, was totally destroyed that day. The good news is that we have all the chance to pitch in to help with just a click of a mouse. If you would like to support Sumter County, visit our website, WRBL.com, for a link to vote. 
It is that time of year for putting up holiday decorations. News 3 is on your side with some safety tips from the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Use flame resistant materials to decorate your Christmas tree. Also, don't place your tree near a fireplace and use lights that have safety fuses to prevent the wires from overheating. Also, turn off holiday lights when you go to bed or leave the house. For more holiday decorating safety tips, be sure to join us online at WRBL.com. Have you started your decorating yet? Oh, yeah. Have the we, tree is up. It is. Good <laughs> job. We've done a little bit. We're still working on it. Crews are set to demolish a Georgia hospital this afternoon that a tornado destroyed earlier this year. Workers will tear down what's left of the Sumter Regional Hospital in Americas. Last March's storm blew out hospital windows and flipped cars over in the parking lot. Officials were able to safely evacuate all patients. A new hospital will be built in the area.